it's crazy to be back home. So you'll get a whole lot more content. You'll get a whole lot more videos from the trip. I already uploaded maybe one or two, I don't remember, but just got back from a two week family hunting vacation type trip. We went to Tennessee for a couple of days, spent time with just me, Shauna, the kids, and then took a trip to Illinois or went to Illinois from Tennessee, hang out. Anyway, long story short, I've been gone for two weeks and it's nice to be back home. It's nice to be back on the back porch. Shut up, chickens. I'm doing my best right now because you ever go through, and I, I'm, I'm already somewhat of a crybaby when it comes to things of like Jesus and stuff like that. So I'm going through this, I don't know, the past few hours I've felt like really weepy, like my heart has been really sensitive. I've been listening to worship and just trying to, the best that I know how to describe it, I've been trying to reconnect myself to the vine. Um, I've just been, I've been taking my cup and reaching deep into the well, you know, trying to pull out, you know, that living water and just refill the soul. It's, it's discombobulating when you go out of town and, um, you know, you're away from not my, my immediate family, of course, but, and I don't want to ramble, but anyway, I said all that to say I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling really like on the, on the cusp of weeping any minute, but I have this, I, I had this thought and I about lost it a minute ago and I said, you know what? That's back porch Bible study right there. Um, it, he chose us is what I want to talk about for a minute. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, no, that, that's, a really, that's a really strong, that's a really powerful concept. Um, you know, when we say it just kind of flippantly like, oh, Jesus chose me, like he chose Alex, like he chose you guys. That, that's powerful in and of itself, but when you stop and you think about it, like, like I didn't choose. We, we get this confused sometimes. We think we chose Him, and it's like you can make the decision to receive what He's poured out, but long before you made any... There it is. Long before you made any decision concerning Him, He made up His mind about you. Like, he chose you. Like, don't forget. I want to remind myself all the time. Like, Alex, don't forget. Like, you didn't choose the cross. He did. Like, you didn't choose to leave glory. He did. You didn't choose to take yourself and to shrink yourself down to the point of being a human and putting yourself in a human body. Like, he made that choice. I choose that. Like, I choose. Like, I didn't choose to create me. I didn't choose to be on this earth. He chose me. I want Alex. I want an Alex. I want, I want him to look like this, to talk like this, maybe not act like this all the time, but I want his personality, his heart. I'm going to remake his heart when he gets to know me. Like he chose that, not me. And like, that's really punching me in the spiritual gut right now. Like, like I didn't choose him. He chose me long before Long before, oh God, I try to do these things with no cuts and no edits, just so y'all can kind of hear my heart just really raw as it is and how I sit. I think really there's two reasons that that tears me up. The first one is God being all knowing, God being om omniscient, knowing everything, seeing, being outside of time. So seeing what we would call the future like he sees life like this. He knows the beginning from the end to eternity. He sees it all. And so knowing that, knowing all the times that I would walk away, all the times that I would fall short, all the times that I would not be a good son, all the times, what what was worth it for him still was the moment that, it, that he said, as a husband, I do, and me saying as, as the bride. And you know, some people will think that's weird, but I'm married, so I understand the idea of I do. When I looked at Jesus and I said I do, you know, as 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 the son, but also as the bride, I make that commitment. He said it's worth it. Even and it's crazy to me because I believe with all my heart that hey, I don't want to get in the weeds, but I believe with all my heart that if nobody in all of creation would have said yes, just for the sake of offering salvation and offering, you know, the, the fellowship back with the Father, I think that Jesus would have still came. 
Like, even if nobody would have said yes, even if the father would have been able to look at the son and say, you know, nobody's going to say yes. Nobody's going to want to come back to the father. He'd have been like, it doesn't matter because I can't not. I can't not pour out my life as a sacrifice of love to bridge the gap to the father's son. So I think one reason that that hits so hard is because he he still chose me knowing knowing he still chooses there's people out there there may be people who are watching this video right now who you say I don't choose him and he still chooses you like you got no clue I don't have no clue most days. I don't know, like the height, the depth, like what Romans 8 talks about. The height, the depth, like how could we measure this thing that's that's called the love of God. <sighs> Had to make sure my kids aren't going crazy. But uh, I, think that, I think the other thing about it, about him choosing me, that makes it so, it, just like that spiritual punch in, in the gut, um, is the fact that, nobody I'm trying to figure out the way to put this the way it is in my heart and in my head nobody can take that like nobody could talk you the devil can't deceive you out of that like you can dang I'm trying so hard not to cry like you can say what you want but I didn't I didn't do this thing called salvation I didn't work my way back to the father like the devil can whisper in your ear all day long and say what he wants, but still at the end of the day, he can't say anything about the fact that he's the one who made the choice. Like he can say, you're this and you're that and you do this and you do that and you're not worthy. He can say all these things that I could say, you might be right, but I'm not the one who made that choice. He's the one who died. He's the one who bled. He's the one who came. Like he's the one who said, I pour out my life so that you can have it. Like, you can't talk, you can't deceive out of that. Well, you can. Like, there's a lot of people deceived, but you can't talk me out of that. You, you can say what you want, but I didn't make that choice. Like, it's not based on me. Oh, I just, I gotta, oh, I'll drop my glasses. I gotta turn this video off and just weep for, weep for a little bit. And if that makes me less of a man in your eyes, I'm sorry, but there's, there's something, if, if the love of God doesn't overwhelm you to like to the point to where you're just beside yourself then are you really encountering that sounds bad because then it sounds like if you're not crying and having a fit then you, you're not experiencing the love of God I don't mean that I'm just trying to make excuses about the fact that I'm really weepy and I feel like a little girl but anyway it's really good to be back I've missed home I've missed you guys but launch out into the deep uh, launch out into the deep things of God read your Bible. Read, don't don't be afraid to dig into the deep things of the Word. Go into the woods. Go hunting. Go fishing. Don't just watch YouTube all day long. I'll see you on the next video.